welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I will be creating on one of these canvases and I'll use the blue one. And first I am priming these with some clear chalk primer because these backgrounds were um, created using the paint pour technique um, from like some leftover paint that my mum had after she was teaching a class. And um, she was using like baby oil um, to like create a certain effect in it. So it was kind of greasy. So I wanted to dull that down so I can create on it. And I'm going to use the face looking down stencil. And I'm using the smaller face um, to just do like a quick um, kind of like print with a makeup sponge and acrylic paint. And that is white acrylic paint by Crawford and Blacks. <laughs> And I'll do that on both canvases, but I will be working on the blue canvas. And I will also link the video where I complete the red canvas um, afterwards in an icon in the top right hand corner. So I was just quickly wiping that off to make sure it's all clean, doesn't get clogged up. And I was thinking that I would like do like butterflies in her hair kind of thing. And at this point I was trying to figure out like which canvas I was going to use. So I'm just like kind of placing the masks um, from that stencil just to figure out like how I wanted it. And by then I um, knew that I wanted to use the blue one. And so I'm going to pick some papers out. And um, the papers I'm using is from my mixed media subscription boxes. I just have a whole bunch of papers left over and I've made my, up my mind to use up as much as I possibly can. So I'm just really working through them and I cut out those like kind of like that kind of book paper newspaper effect and now I'm spraying through the stencil on a piece of scrap uh, A4 paper so that I can get some like colourful butterflies as well because I wanted the butterflies to all be quite varied. So I have that kind of like book kind of newspaper print deco paper and then I have these um, butterflies that are made out of the sprays and you can see I did mask off areas where I didn't want it to spray through so I wouldn't ruin my um, first butterflies and I'm making sure to clean that off and those sprays are either made from food coloring or um, like calligraphy ink <laughs> so I'll put that aside to dry and now I'm picking up um, more papers from my subscription boxes and I wanted the papers to coordinate with the background. So you can see I'm picking out purples, like pink kind of colours, and some kind of greens and oranges as well, uh, just to draw from some of those like little random specks of colour to pick up. And I've cut all of those out. I was just tracing and cutting them out and I thought I wouldn't um, include it because it was just quite um, repetitive. And now that they're all dry and ready, I'm putting all my masks onto my background because I wanted to do some spraying because I want I felt like the background just didn't have enough interest in it. And even though it is the background, I did want it to um, look a bit more finished. So I've masked off her face because I don't want any of the sprays to um, get on her face. I do want her face to be nice and plain so she stands out from the background. And I'm using the same inks I was using to spray through um, the stencil to make the butterflies um on this background and so you can see when i lift up the mask you can see like like kind of silhouettes of butterflies and then i'll flip them over and print off and like use the excess ink on those masks to create some prints as well so it's quite a it's a kind of monochromatic kind of splashy um kind of masks background that you have there and that was pretty much dry and I felt like still needed more. So I'm going in and adding like where maybe there would be highlights on her face or like makeup. I was kind of going along more line of makeup, um, how people like add highlights. So like she has eyeshadow like on her cheeks, her lips, like her nose um, and like her chin just to like catch where the light would be hitting. And I don't really have like a specific spot where I find the light would be hitting. Normally um, I pick one and so I then add shadows and stuff. But I didn't want it to look like that. So this is very much like even. And I'm also adding by her shoulders because I will add on her shoulders with some um, texture paste later on with a palette knife. 
So like her shoulders and her collarbones with that um, silver paint. And that is by uh, Wilco's. You can see I'm just using, I'm using quite a big brush to add that because I didn't want it to be too um, perfect and detailed. And now I'm going to add some splashes to the background. And then it's nice and sparkly and I do like my sparkle so I was really happy with that, how that turned out. And I wanted to add some more big splashes. And those humongous um, like blobs, I do like kind of dab, dab off a little bit. And so you can see how lovely and shiny that is. And once it's like fully dried, it'll look even nicer. And then I'm adding a few spots of color with that, with those inks again, just to add on, just to kind of finish off the background nicely. And then I was really happy with that. And I didn't add any white because I felt the silver brightened things up quite a bit um and enough for me to be happy with it and i was kind of feeling like this was a, it was a bit like a galaxy kind of background so i was really happy with how the silver made it look and now i'm going around all the butterflies with my stays on ink pad and that is permanent and just to kind of distress it a little bit Oops, what am i doing now Oh yes, I wanted to um, redo her stenciling, so I will add the stays on ink to the butterflies afterwards. But now I'm adding a really nice thick layer of texture paste with a palette knife. And I, because I added with the makeup sponge earlier just to give me a guide, but I knew I was going to go over later on to really brighten up and um, add back that detail of her face. And now I'm going to finish off like her shoulders and kind of add that space back where her chin is missing um, to like just finish everything off. And I'm going to try to do that as smoothly as possible. And you can see there was a few spots where I didn't stencil very well, but like the spot by the side of her head, that will be covered by like a butterfly. And then um, I will go over and add some more silver paint afterwards, especially by her shoulders, just to kind of cover that up and just finish that off nicely. So you can see, and it's nice and bright, and I don't add any black here because the background is so dark. I didn't need to add any black because it was already grounded in a way. Um, so I just needed to add a nice bright white and then she stood out really nicely. And now I'm just showing you how I make sure I don't ruin my stencils. I scrape off any excess and then I like spray on a whole bunch of water and then wipe it off and sometimes um, if I feel the need to I will just leave it to sit in that water on the paper towel for a while before I wipe it off and make sure and be nice and gentle with your stencils and stencil through this the smooth side of the stencil so it wipes off easier because there is a rougher side and you can use that for tracing and stuff so make sure um, stencil through on the smooth side and now I'm going to paint the edges and I've mixed a um, like an ultramarine blue with some black and I'm painting the edges. I like to paint the edges of my canvas. I find that really finishes it off nicely. And I'm just kind of blending it over top, um, just on the top edge of the canvas, just so it's a nice smooth um, finish and everything looks nice and blended and there's no like hard lines. And I'm using my finger to blend that there. I find my fingers are best for blending things together most of the time. And I was really happy with how that looked and how that finished it off. I was really happy with that. Oh, and there will be a photo of both the canvases completed at the end of the video, um, just to let you know so you can see how that one turned out. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside to dry and ink the edges of my butterfly, butterflies. And some of it, like, some of it wasn't perfect and I kind of grunged them up a little bit because um, the black is to ground them. Since they're so br bright, I did have to add black to them. So I wanted that to really ground um, the butterflies. And especially like with the kind of grungy look, it looks even nicer. <clears throat> and then you'll see in a little bit, once I show, once I'm like finished inking all of them and I um, show you what they look like, you'll see how much nicer they look and how much finished they look. And I'm really enjoying creating um, these videos for Sean Petit creative team. Um, I've already created one video where I did like a dream catch on a canvas and I'm really, really enjoying like using all these stencils um, to create on canvases. I don't normally use stencils, so this is really nice for me to experiment with and try new things. 
Um, so yeah, I can't wait until my next video. And please do like check out everybody else's videos. Everybody else is creating some really beautiful pieces of um, works of art as well. So please do check them out on um, Sean's channel. Okay, so I'm all finished and I'm just quickly showing you what they look like. You can see some of them are really grungy, some not so much. And now to stick them on. I apologize for that shaky camera. Okay, um, I took a photo of it like when I first figured out how I wanted things to guide me because I knew I wouldn't have gotten it where I wanted to um, second time. So now I'm just kind of layering everything up, putting them where they need to be, and soon I'll start to stick them down. I'm just kind of putting like the first few so I know how like how where to put them. And I'm trying to make sure to get like the ones that are at the back in first so that I don't have to lift anything up. And I'm using uh, some tacky glue. Um, that's really good for sticking things down and I'm only putting it in the middle of the butterflies because I wanted their wings to stick up. I wanted it to have a nice 3D effect. So I'm just sticking it, um, putting the glue in the middle and then I'll kind of curl up the edges of the wings once like everything's stuck down. And I didn't include it in the video because I didn't do it at the time, but um, the butterflies just didn't look finished enough. So what I did was I covered them with some like gloss gel medium um so it gave it a really nice shine and it finished it off perfectly so that's what i did and you'll be you kind of be able to see that in the photos um i wasn't really able to to show you how much shine which is a shame um in the pictures but you will see some of the shine and you'll see um it makes the colors a lot more vivid and vibrant and stand out a lot more so i was really happy that i did that um and it looked better as well because mostly the background was shiny because the silver and so was she. So the butterflies needed their own shine. So I'm almost done um, sticking everything down. Just a few more butterflies to go. And you can see how their wings are sticking up. And when I added the gloss gel medium, it also made the butterflies stronger. So they stayed sticking up, which was perfect. And I was really happy about that because most of it was just plain paper, just regular paper, like what, 80 GSM, something like that. Um, okay, so I'm just adding some um, highlights with my Uniball Signal to finish everything off um, to the butterflies, to her face as well. And I'll also add like a few um, like circles like in the background. Um, just to kind of brighten it up because I did then feel that they needed a little bit of white added but not too much so you'll see that in a bit and I also used the Uniball Signal to add my signature and the date on the side of the canvas um, so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that bell to be notified please do subscribe to Sean's channel um, check her out if you're watching on my channel or check me out if you're watching on her channel um, and yeah so thanks again for watching I hope you join me again for another arty adventure bye